Hello to all of you. Welcome to the Fix Focus program. I am Ibrahim Hashemi. And this is another episode of Fix Focus program. As we know, the easiest way to convert solar energy into electrical energy is to use the photovoltaic system. In this part, I want to discuss a new method to increase the efficiency of solar panels. We must use a method to use the maximum power of the panels. The efficiency of solar panels if they are perpendicular to the sunlight is almost 20%. And if they are not vertical, this yield will be greatly reduced. Therefore, the output power of the panel depends on the angle of the panel with the sun's radiation. And it is a big mistake to install solar panels fixed in a photovoltaic power plant. In fact, the lifetime of solar panels is limited and their price is high. Therefore, it is better to use them to the maximum. To better understand the issue, let's do an experiment with this 10 watt panel in front of the sun. Now I want to experimentally test a 10W solar panel against sunlight. I have put a multimeter in ammeter mode and connected it to the output of the panel. Now let's see how much the ammeter changes in different angles of the panel movement. If I place the panel perpendicular to the sunlight, the ammeter shows 0.5 amps. And by changing the angle, this number decreases. And in the tangent mode with the sunlight, this value reaches 0.09 amperes. That means we have 82% energy reduction. And this test is in the state where the sun is in the state of the horizon. Therefore, the angle of the solar panel is of great importance. Let's go to continue the program. Well, you saw the panel test in front of sunlight. And you saw that the placement angle of the panel has a great effect on the output power of the panel. And unfortunately, many photovoltaic power plants have fixed panels. But why these power plants do not use moving panels? It can have two reasons, firstly, the cost of installing the panel circulation system is high. Second, the depreciation and maintenance cost of these types of systems is high. Usually, we need to spend approximately $1 million to set up a photovoltaic power plant with an output power of 1 megawatt. And if the panels are fixed, it means that we have wasted almost 30% of our money. In the image you see, a two-axis tracker is used to rotate the panel. In this system, two jacks are usually used for horizontal and vertical movement. In this method, all equipment is placed on the same base. The main problem of this system is that for a large number of panels, the structure of the system must be extremely strong and withstand both weight and wind. And this will increase the cost of the system, and it will be more suitable for a limited number of panels, and in this case, it is not very cost effective. In this system, strong jacks are needed to move large plates. Therefore, it will not be cost effective to install it in a photovoltaic power plant. The second method that is used to rotate the solar panel is to use a longitudinal axis. Suppose this is a large panel and in this method the panel rotation is like this and around one axis and requires a single axis tracker. 
In this method, if the axle arms are too long, very large gearboxes will be needed for balance during sunrise and sunset. Therefore, in practice, it is not possible to increase the width of the panels beyond a certain limit. And the more the arm of the system increases, the height from the ground must also increase, which will again require a strong structure. With this single axis method, we will still have energy loss because in many cases the panel is not perpendicular to the sun. The image you see is related to this single axis system. And you can see what a big structure the axis has and it takes a great force to turn it. This is the image behind the same biaxial system and you can see that a lot of structure is used for its strength. And this is because the whole system must be placed on a foundation. I have an extremely simple method that is very easy and cheap and can guarantee the process of increasing the efficiency of solar panels in a power plant. Well, let's go to the introduction of this interesting method. In this method, inspired by the fixed focus solar system, a solar panel can be moved in both horizontal and vertical directions. Of course, a simpler system will be used to move the panel. And you can put the solar panel in any direction. In this system, we have a fixed part, and in its real type, its bases are placed in concrete or screwed with concrete base. And I made this small sample just for this video. In the center of the fixed part is a bearing. And this is the moving part that must be connected to the fixed part through bearings. And I have used a hollow tube here for the convenience of work and the passage of the rope, which in practice should not be used. This rope is used as a tow wire. Well I attach the panel to the moving part. There is a hinge on the movable part to which I screw the panel. In the real sample, several large and strong hinges should be used. Now I close the screws. You can see that the panel is connected to the hinge and can move around the axis of the hinge. Now I tie the rope pass through the pipe to the other end of the panel. Now the panel is connected to the rope. and it can be moved up and down. And you can put it in any direction you want. Of course, it is possible to make the system uniaxial, and fix the panel at the desired angle and remove the vertical movement. And in this case, we don't need rope and this pipe anymore. As you can see, the panel can easily move around the horizontal axis. In this case, the solar panel moves in one axis. You can see that the system is too simple. Suppose that if the diameter of our structure is 5 meters. This means that a panel with a length of 5 meters and a width of, for example, 4 meters can be placed on the system. This means 20 square meters of panel, which requires less structure than other systems. Of course, please note that I have placed this pipe for the convenience of my work. And you should not use a pipe, but instead you should use a metal pulley. This metal pulley makes the towing wire move easily. And a metal pulley is placed behind the solar panel. The presence of a suitable towing wire and gearbox makes vertical movement easy. 
There is another method that creates a better balance. To introduce the second method, I first open the screws of the hinge. In the second method, there is no need for a hinge. Now the panel is released. I prepared a base in such a way that it has two metal shafts. In this way, this base is screwed on the moving part of the system. I tighten its screws. Now both metal shafts are placed in the two holes on the two sides of the panel. The height of the panel support depends on the width of the solar panel and can even be placed at the lowest point. It will be easier to move in this mode. both vertical and horizontal movement. This method is suitable for two-axis system. And the previous method is more suitable for uniaxial system. Well, let's have a general review of the system. The desired system is perfect for small and large areas of solar panels. Its use in photovoltaic power plants is very economical and its only disadvantage may be that it occupies more space. For example, if 1000 of the above systems are installed in a photovoltaic power plant, it is not necessary to use a tracker for each system and you can choose a system as the mother tracker and connected 999 other systems to each other by addressing method. This addressing can be in the form of frequency or optical, and simpler, that is, in the electrical form. For example, a very simple system can be determined from the movement of the parent system and its changes in the intervals on this figure. If a printed circuit is like this, it means that each part specifies an address. The movement of the panel in the above system does not necessarily have to be perpendicular to the ray of sunlight. Even with a difference of several degrees, the output power of the panel will not decrease. In the figure you see, the circle is the fixed part of the system. And the high power structure is marked as a star and in red color and is connected to the bearing in the center. And all equipment should be closed on this structure and it can be three or four or more. And the addressing page is placed exactly in this center, and the bigger the addressing page, the more accurate the work will be. Of course, there are much better and cheaper methods, the explanation of which is very time-consuming and beyond the scope of this video. Another thing I must say is the circular metal tube which is part of the fixed part of the system. It does not necessarily have to be a perfect circle to fit in the slot of the pulley. 
And in this way it moves on the circle and you can use a steel bearing tube instead of a metal pulley. As you can see, this image is a steel bearing tube, and its use reduces friction and eliminates the circle error. Also, instead of a steel bearing tube, we use compressed cylindrical rubber connected to the gearbox motor for horizontal movement at the end of one of the star shafts. For vertical addressing of the system, the side of the metal shaft placed in the panel can be used. And with the vertical movement of the solar panel, the vertical location of the panel can be announced to the rest of the systems. Well, there is no special case to say. And I just want to say that you are completely sure of the operation of this method and it depends on your courage to implement this system. Those who don't know about fixed focus system can click on the above address. Fixed focus system tracker can be installed on the mother system. By the way, you can click on the above address for the solar tracker. Another special thing I have to mention is this. Well, I found the picture. Yes, in this figure, as you can see, the output power of a panel during one day is specified. From 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., the amount of energy of a fixed panel is shown. In the hours from 11 to 14, the output power of the panel is higher than the other hours. But if we put the panels in the rotating system, a large amount of energy will be added during the day. This means that there will be no more empty space on both sides of the graph. That is, let's assume if we have a 10 megawatts power plant with fixed panels. This power plant will be converted into a 14 megawatt power plant with the rotating system of panels. I hope that this program has been useful for you and for people who have the ability to do it, it will be a profitable job. Goodbye until next program.